Welcome to the Taste Test and today we're doing a special on gourmet chocolate and thank you very much to Muriel and Ariel who have been kind enough to send all these wonderful items over. I've got four items to try today. So we're going to start with Choco Love Almonds and Sea Salt in Dark Chocolate. How yummy. And it also says there's a love poem on the inside. Hmm. Not sure I've ever had a love poem from a chocolate bar before. Well, let's get on to the actual chocolate, which, let's face it, is what we're all here for. This is real love. Mmm. Oh, that's very dark chocolate. Okay. Mmm. Well. I can definitely taste the dark chocolate. And beyond the crunchiness of the almonds, I can't actually taste them that much. And there's only a very tiny amount of sea salt to it. The saltiness is almost non-existent. Hmm. Well, I can't say... Hmm. Not quite as nice as I was expecting. I'm getting a little bit of saltiness on the back of my palate. But that's it. Yeah, um, as a dark chocolate, it's all right, but I'm, it's sad that the, the almonds don't have a lot of flavour to them. They're there for crunch mostly, and I think maybe adding sea salt to the title makes it seem a bit more exotic than it actually is. Um, hmm, that was a little bit of a bust. Let's see if Choco Love can do better with ginger crystallised in dark chocolate. I'm not a huge fan of crystallised ginger, but as I've said before, I'm willing to try things just for the hell of it. Again, I can't really smell anything beyond the dark chocolate, but we'll soon find out. Hmm. Okay, this one has a lot more flavour. You can definitely taste the crystallised ginger in it. It's a bit weak though. Hmm. I like the the last one. There's more texture than taste. You definitely got the texture of the crystallised ginger, but um, there's only a very very sort of faint ginger flavour to that. I think maybe because they're using such a dark chocolate, it's overriding all the other flavours. But, um, yeah, that's that, I, I think that's probably better than the last one. All right, let's see if we have more luck with another brand. We've got two more to try. Valor. Dark chocolate with forest fruits. Hmm. Oh, you can smell the fruitiness in this one. You can actually see it poking out there. Hmm. Okay. Let's give this a go, shall we? Oh, God. This is the hardest chocolate I've ever eaten. <laughs> This is a big fail. Oh dear. Mm. It's gritty. It almost tastes powdery. There's virtually no sweetness to that, which I understand with a 70% a cocoa dark chocolate. That's not very pleasant. And beyond the smell of the pieces of fruit nut, I can't taste the fruit in it at all. Mmm. I really don't like that one at all, actually. Mmm. Yuck. <laughs> Let's see if we can finish on a high, shall we? We've got Perugia, or Perugia. I, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. It's cappuccino flavoured chocolate. It says milk chocolate with cappuccino crispy. Okay, let's have a shifty. Another Fort Knox chocolate bar. <laughs> Ooh, oh God, 
definitely a cappuccino smell to it. Mmm. Oh. Definitely milk chocolate. Quite creamy. Relatively sweet. But, um, whatever the crispy things are in it, they dissolve within seconds. There's no crispiness to them at all from what I can tell. There's a sort of a background light coffee flavour to it, but... It's um, nothing compared to the one that I just tried before, the, um, the one from Ritter Sport that was the espresso flavour. So I guess this is meant to be like a weaker coffee, like a cappuccino is a bit weaker than an espresso. But um, it's not bad, but I can't say it's a overwhelming success, that one. That being said, I definitely enjoy that more than the other three that I just tried today. So yeah, um, not bad. All right, guys, scores time. Well, I think our cappuccino chocolate that we just tried there is probably our winner today. And I'm going to give that one a fairly generous 7 out of 10. Um, it's creamy. The crunchiness is a bit disappointing. And, yeah, it's kind of a weak coffee flavour, so it's not bad. It's sort of, for someone who's not a big fan of coffee, it's probably quite good. But as a bit of a coffee junkie myself, um, I was a little disappointed, but it's not too bad. Um... I would probably go 6 out of 10 for the crystallised ginger one. Again, fairly weak in flavour. And I can't say it was terribly pleasant. Like, it was okay, but it wasn't great. Um, I'd probably give the same score for the almond sea salt one. Because, again, it promises a lot, but doesn't really deliver. It's kind of... It's crunchy nuts in it. There's not much flavour from them. The sea salt was pretty average, so I don't know why they bothered to even mention that it had sea salt in it. If they hadn't, I probably would have noticed it. But I think our big failure today has to be the Valor. The dark chocolate with forest fruits. That was disgusting. It was really not very nice. It was powdery, and it was really just very hard. Like, you take a bite out of it, it was like... It was like eating concrete. It was really not very nice. And for something that's got forest fruits in it, while it has a slight fruity smell to it, there was absolutely no fruity taste to it at all. It was awful. So that one, sorry, that gets a one. It gets a one out of 10. That's not good. Not, not good score at all there. I'm being generous there because it sort of, you know, it looks presentable in the packet. That's about as much as I can say. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for watching this week's Taste Test. We've got more coming up very soon, so stay tuned. In the meantime, lots of love to you all, and I'll see you later.